All right, so we're back here again in the streets. We just left the family reunion a little while ago, about an hour ago. It was a good time. We didn't know what to expect. Uh, got to explain our side of why we come out here and share the gospel. And so, uh, we, uh, yeah, we're out here again. And um, uh, just keep us lifted. I'm going to try and get into, uh, just uh, get some conversations on. So, uh, stay tuned. I don't want you to be saved so that I can be saved. That's a big difference, right? If I go out and preach the gospel to you so that I can be saved, then you would disagree with 99.9% of homosexual men. But I'm serious. Monogamy is virtually non-existent in the male homosexual community. Okay. And so, say 50% of men. So we have common ground there. We both think that it's okay. wrong to be yes. promiscuous. Yes. Okay. Okay. So 50% of marriages. Have you met my friend, sir? Hi. Hey, sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm just listening. Okay. So 50% of most people have sex after, or a lot of people have sex after being married. I, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of people have sex after being married. You mean outside of marriage? No. You mean once, in they, marriage. once they get married. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then 50% of heterosexual marriages get divorced. Well, so that means they're probably going to have sex with more than one person already. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. But look, if they... So, okay, I'm not sure point that okay. so already 50% are already having sex with more than one person. Yeah, but either... And I bet those 50% that are still married <laughs> are having se have already had sex with more than one person before their marriage. Yeah, but, but obviously it's much different if I'm... Say, uh, me and my wife are already married and we've been virgins and then, you know, we're married and have sex. Guess what our rate of infection is? Zero. Zero. So even if we get divorced and we go marry other people who have, you know, who have been divorced. Oh yeah, you can find the so, perfect person that's only that doesn't have an infection. There's thousands of people that don't have infection. Millions. Millions. Yeah. Millions. Hundreds yeah. of millions. Yeah. Hundreds of millions. Yeah. 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 Most high. If God is the most high. There's no most higher high. To be the most high means you're on top. There's no, there's no God that our God is bowing down. There's no, there's no, there's no spirit grandfather. That's your belief. Right, because God says before me, no God before I heard you quote Isaiah. Neither shall there be I know you don't agree with this, but we believe, or I believe, that that has reference to his children. Yes. So the Bible, and so he is the God of me. I have no other God I would turn to but Elohim. This might, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's no other someday to out there. Someday, about a year or two. <laughs> One thing I've been interested in is, I get, and you're being very professional and classy, so thank you for not degrading us and making us feel horrible. You're just sharing your feelings. Even after I told you to repent? You know what? I appreciate We're both doing that no, in, a, in, a, in a good atmosphere. So the question is, I've noticed in Christianity, they believe lots of different things. Some believe baptism is a requirement using scripture. Others say it's just maybe. Others, so how... I mean, if Christ said, except ye be baptized, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God, what about the Christians who aren't baptized? Where will, where will they go? How do you differentiate between different Christian sects and all the different beliefs that they have? You know, well, Christians have a value system. And, you, know, you know, Jesus said that justice and mercy were more important. This was a more weightier part of the law than keeping the Sabbath. So Jesus has a value system. Jesus thinks it's more important to love people than it is to keep the Sabbath. We agree on that, right? Oh, absolutely. So we have a value system. And we, the, the things that are most important to see are the things on top of it. I went through a lot of effort to actually yeah. define it. Yeah. Now, you should. Yeah. I said should. Yeah. I'm not real sure. No, I am real sure. Okay, so you said should, it would be good. Okay, God, God is. is unique. God is different than man. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So God is not a <laughs> being? I didn't say that. I said God is not a universal being. We are universal beings. So if God's different than us, then he's not going to be a universal being. 
second. How do you know that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking you. Okay. I gave you three foundations at the start of this, okay? I said, the Bible tells us. Yeah. And then I said, the so God of the Bible tells us. Sorry, I should, I should be nice. No. Right, Roll my eyes and tell the story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you have a little, uh, little, kind of, uh, little, taste of what it's like out here and, and so uh keep us lifted and god bless